Didn't even make it to the bottom this time. Didn't even make it to the bottom. And we're on. Oh, yes. Go, go, go. Yes. Bubble. Fish. I think so. Fish. Fish. Sean, are you multitasking, mate? He's got fish coming up here. He's got a jig in the background. What can't he do? What a man. Good lunchtime, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Of course, on all good adventures, joined by Sean O. How we going? Mate, we're going well. We're going well. You can probably see behind Sean that it is an absolute pearl a day. It is lunchtime. We are miles and miles from anywhere, and we are in our, once again, in our pursuit of fish from the deep. We've got the jigging gear, we've got the electric gear, we've even got a blue marlin rod with a livey rigged up on it and we're going to be mate, we're going to be trying to kick some ass today exactly mate exactly right i reckon sign and checks breaking next that's the name of the game today hopefully catch a few bark as well mate well that is the the aim of today is to get a bari on a jig or a, a flamey or, oh, or a flame tail snapper i just want to catch a flamey so bad i just want to catch something big and gnarly and land it uh but yeah we're gonna we're gonna make the most of this good weather. The current is seemingly pretty uh, slow today, so it should be good fishing. Um, we've got the whole afternoon ahead of us, so hopefully we can come up trumps with some good fish. I'm hoping. I'm hoping, mate. I'm hoping. One little flamey. Is that too much to ask? One flame tail, one 15 kilo cod on a jig. Crop it. And a hard hooker. Yeah, <laughs> just, and a sortie. And of course a blue eye. No you worries. know, I don't think it's too much to ask. One of each. We're not greedy. Nah, just a couple of good kids having fun, really. A couple of cool kids having fun. Well, cool kid and Sean having fun. Okay, mate. Look at the bottom there. Have a go at this. We've found life, which is half our battle most of the time. At that. That is always a good sign. Oh, yeah. that's not. There we go. See a bit of red there. That's, uh, well, that's what, 20 metres of fish. Yeah, that's worth a drop nearly. I think we, no, we're going to have to have a drop on that. Look here, it's coming it's going up. It's, it's coming going right up. up. There's a lot of fish there, and I think that's going to be the home of our first drop. What are you going to go first? Jig or lecky? Both. Why can't we have both? <laughs> I reckon all of them. Just, just put as many baits down as you can. That's... Just put everything down. It's that good of a day, you pretty well could. I'm going to stick to jig. I'm going to go jiggy yeah. mortis first. Yeah, I might go just a quick old, uh, just a recce with an electric, just to see what's down there. Yep. And then a bit of a jig thrown in as the lecky's coming up. Well, I, I like I like putting the electric down, especially if I don't have to do it. I like the electric down first because you get a good sample of what's down there. Yeah. You know what's down there, you know what you're in for, and you know you're not missing fish on the jig. So if we do that, mate, all time. I'm happy, I'm happy. Right, guys, we're going to get stuck in. Um, I'm going to tell you a bit about what we're doing as we're doing it. Um, I don't really have it. You got anything else to add? Oh, I'm out of words, mate. Yeah, no. Have a go at the weather. Yeah, beautiful. Just beautiful. Colour on the first fish of the day. Red. We got red. I know it ain't. We got one eight. Tell me. Oh, not, not a big one. And what a specimen! I know the jig is really bigger than it. Uh oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Fish. I think so. Fish. Fish. We on. Double hook up technically. I don't know if you count that. Probably. Oh, he's actually it's great. weighty, but it's not doing anything. Yeah, bark odd. Typical bark odd. Well, I'm going to check with you in a second. Like, doing proper nothing. This hasn't offered anything. Apart from weight. Could be a ball sack. Oh, the infamous. The infamous ball sack. Wouldn't be a bad start of the day though. That would be a great start of the day. I know a lot of you guys, the uh, ball sack's probably one of your favourite species you've seen Sean O and I catch. I reckon I've foul hooked something. Here we go, there's a bit of colour. It's actually, it doesn't look that small. Oh no. Oh, greeny. No. 
Why does this always happen to me? The green eyed master. The green eyed master. And it's not a good title to have. Double hooking though. Isn't it? Yeah, that's why he came up all, all fun. Holy Jesus! Everyone remember these guys have a mean spike on them. So, um, yeah, keep them at arm's distance. Careful that back one. Oh, the back one as well. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, wait, 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 well, that probably wasn't the most successful first drop I've ever had. Sean got a little ornate, so... Are you happy? I was stoked. He's happy. Sean's happy. Good day to be alive, really. It's lovely weather out here. Green eyes are actually a fair old target on the jig, eh? Caught more of them on a jig than I have blue eye. Oh, but he bark on. Prolific, some would say. Oh, that was a solid hit too. Is that two though? Yes, Sammy. Whoa, rock, come on, man. I reckon I've got a nanny or something here. Want to put in the box would be nice. One, one to put on the box. Oh, the old arm's getting sore. Oh, I don't think I'm too far away. Here we go. What is it? It is a nana geezer and a nice nanny too. One. Nice one. Have a go at that. One of each. One of each. Double on the nannies. Who's is bigger? Oh, I think you might have me here. Mine's better looking for sure. Oh, I don't know about that. Mine's got a lot more shoulders and biceps about it, but anywho. <laughs> Nah, couple of table fish, we're on the board. We are on the board. At least the jigs are getting a little bit of in, in a little bit of inquiry. A little bit of a inquiry is probably what I meant to say. You beauty, you beauty. Didn't even make it to the bottom this time. Didn't even make it to the bottom. And we're on. Feels about the same. Bit nanny-like. Ooh, having a little go, it might be an all right, Nanny. What do you reckon our target species for the day is, Sean? Baris, surely. Yeah, I'd really like a flame. Really, really like a... Bark odd and flame tails would be our target for the day, but if we have to wade through some nannies to get there, we'll do it. Better than a green eye. Yeah, usually bends a bit more with a bari. Ah, oh, it's got a bit of weight there. It's just another big nanny. Quite a nice nanny. Oh, bit of side hookage there. Bit of double switch. Oh no, that's a quite quite a nice nan dog. Nice. Look at that. Good quality nan. Hey? I might have a double on nannies. Double on nans. Well guys, the uh, 
No barcode as of yet, but I'll tell you what, the nannies are on the chew. We're in uh, 200 meters of water, and I'm only using a 200 gram jig because there is pretty well zero current today. This is the, uh... oh, in there, good. There we go. That's a mustard wingman, uh, 200 grammer. That's two from two on the drop front. They're, uh, they're pretty thick down there, and I think Sean O, he's got a couple on, or maybe one or two on in their background, so. Hey, if we have to fill the esky with uh, tasty nannies before we uh, get stuck into the cod, so be it, mate, so be it. Oh, he's, he's dropped one. Is it a good one? We anticipate some big fish today, so we bought the big, the big fish bag. And already, there's some tasty, tasty fish chilling down. Still getting bites, Sean? No. I've got two lighters and a big bait on it. Oh, he's trophy hunting now. Yeah. I'm gonna sift through the nannies. For bigger nannies? Yeah, giant ones. For, for older nannies? Second drift, uh, second jig. Gotta give a bit of credit to the nans, they have a go. I reckon I'm pulling this nanny up sideways. What have we got? Another nan. Oh, not a small man either. Hooked in the gill plate. Thank you for coming. Oh, that's a chunk. Yeah, that is huge. That's I mean, the neck of that bend in the tail. That's borderline pearly. That's a really nice one. That's what all the fuss was about. Pulled him up by the gill plate. Still an absolute ripper nanny. Some really good quality around today. It's gonna to be plenty of good chewing coming out of this lot, I can tell you that much. They are absolutely unreal. Woo! Sean, are you multitasking, mate? He's got fish coming up here. He's got a jig in the background. Jig as well, mate, perfect condition. What can't he do? What a man. Hasn't mowed the yard in six months, but. <laughs> Did you mow it last night? Bloody hell. I can see colour. It looks similar to that of an anagai. Possibly two. Yeah, there's a double. That's efficient. Can you go the triple? Oh, is that? That might be a squirrel. Super, super red. No, it's not. It's nanny. Oh well. Nice, mate. We're gonna get we're gonna get the fighter on the nanny. We're we? we're gonna get a few nannies, I think. And then uh, we might try a different spot and see if we can get something a bit browner and a bit uglier. Well, I think we'll, we'll go now. Yeah. I'm I'm keen to move. <laughs> Stationary jig. Look at that, having a go. Good nanny PB coming up. Probably gonna beat Sammy's PB nanny, I'd say. Nope. What? NBA All Star nanny. Nah, it's just fat. Fat and short, just like me. Who's <laughs> that? Look at the red though. Tell you what, what he lacks in size, he makes up with gumption. Double hook. Looks like a great place to get spiked. Yeah. Double spike. Double spike. That's a good old slob. That's how you hold them when you've got a stack of them. Just that carefree nature. Yeah, we've got, we've got fillets. I think that brings the nanny total to um, 
Not sure on the exact number, I think it's like seven or eight, but we probably don't need to take any more just yet. It's only uh, lunchtime, so plenty of nanny slaying time to go in the day. We're gonna move spots though. There's, uh, there's more productive areas, hopefully, with a bit more brown on them, a bit more brown. You like the brown, don't you, Sean? I can get, Sammy. <laughs> All right, we're on the bottom. New spot. We have plenty of nannies. We do not need any more. Come on, brown things. Oh. oh, 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 oh. That's a big oh. oh. Feed it to him. Sean out. Sean out. Does it still feel big? Don't forget you got two liveys on there. Maybe if I can. We're both both down there. I'm gonna convince your fish to come over and eat my jig. You got him? Can't be too big if you're saying I think so. Sean I reckons he's getting harassed here. Oh. I'm on. I'm on. Nah, mine's just a nan, I think. Sean O's on in the electric as well. Although I suspect we might be into a bit more of the same. Maybe it's just like the day of the nanny. Well, predictions, thoughts were correct. Nanny? It's a nan time. I think there's a couple of nannies down there. <laughs> I, think, I think this is nanny area, nanny country. That's a really large pig fish. They don't get much bigger than that, I think. And one of the tastiest eating fish in the ocean too. Look at the lips on that. That was my first girlfriend. <laughs> that dead set, I thought that was some sort of groper thing when it came up. Because pigfish, yeah, they really I've seen them a lot half that size and that's about it, but that is uh that's, that's massive. That's for a the cracker. Pigfish. Absolute cracker. Every drop, a lucky dip, a lucky dip. Yeah. Certainly feels like it. For everyone watching on the uh, clamp cam, hope you're enjoying the prime viewing of Sean O's back. It's not commonly commonly seen, but it is, uh, I'll flick to it now, it's a great view. Oh, right <laughs> <laughs> he, He's got him, he's got him. Yeah, right mate, I'll, I'll no, it's you. fine, it's fine, the people want to see it. Oh, his shin, karma. Tell you what, my shoulder's in the zone. Only getting about two or three jigs down the bottom before it's time to come back up. With a fish though, so you can't complain about that. What have we got? Tell me, tell me the good news. It's a barcode, isn't it? Very red looking barcode. Yeah. Lots of nannies down there. Lots and lots of nannies. That would be number 10. I'm not going to complain. But we will need to chase some variety. I'm gonna up my jig, I'm gonna change my jig actually. Um, to a, I'm thinking, ow, thinking an incubator. Obviously, the uh, the 200 gram wingman, that profile there is pretty well, seemingly exactly what these guys are eating at the moment because we are getting loads of them. Absolutely loads of them. It's as soon as you get to the bottom, game on, so. Time to change it up and see if we can uh, pull a few different things up. You ripper. Hey guys, I'm gonna start trying the uh, Ink Vader octopus in a pursuit of biggest cottus, Latin name that one. But last time I dropped down because the bottom is, well it was grabbing everything last time the old bottom. 
take that out of context, it'll sound good. Um, so I'm gonna change the assist hook position to up here. Now cod will just scoff the whole lot, they don't care. They're not just gonna be grabbing the uh, little legs, they're gonna scoff the whole lot. So I'm pretty happy to have them there. And then I'll attach up the top here. Now that little hole is where you put your ink tablets and then it sends out little puffs of scent and, and black ink while I stand there. Doesn't get much more realistic than that. Well, I've loaded it up. Octopus. Bring me a cod please. One cod, please. Shauno is getting buckled over here. I'm going to have to go get the uh, camera over here. Shauno's calling. We might have the first cod. It's uh, a bit serious. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. Fingers crossed for cod telling. Yeah, that's got to be a problem. Yeah, you just can't, eh? Bubble? Oh, you bugger. Green you bugger. Eye. Not even a green eye. Much larger. Much larger. That was that. Remember, I, I felt that fucking... That is a green eye. Huh? That's a green eye, isn't it? Massive. Oh, it's a big green eye. Oh, no. Or is it a whaler? Yeah, I don't know. It looks like a whaler, I thought. Oh, no. Well, that's nah, a greenie. Large. Beautiful. All yours, Sean. Hang on, have you got the... the jig's all stuck in there. Or... Yeah, but I reckon... It... Has he got the jig, or are you... I don't know, but I'm going to have to get a hand, because I'm going to snap something here. Yeah. You can get that on the reef, I'll try. Nah, yeah, no, nah, I don't know if you heard of it, so it's all the same. Yeah, he's definitely got a that, Yep. Good green eye. Like PB. We're having this discussion how big green eyes can get. Yeah, yeah, look at that big thing. Yeah, that's a good thing. Well, this will be fun. Whoa! Right. Watch that bath thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not, that's not ideal. That is a big green eye, it's eating a live bait too. Yeah. Why did they get the name green eye? No idea. That's what? what happens when you get too greedy. Oh no. Too much going on. Look at that spot. Yeah, those things will really do some damage. Oh well, I'm glad I'm not the only one who caught one today. Oh, this is, I've got such a tangle. Don't worry about me. It's kicking your lunch around. I can't even hold it up. The beast master's hooked a beast. Oh, 50 metres under the boat. 50 metres. I'm, I'm going to call bar cod. I'm going cod. cod. Oh, there yes. We there we go. Yes. Bubbles. What did it eat? Uh, the top one. Oh, what was the top one? Uh, slimy. No, that was squid, wasn't it? No, nah, the bottom one was just squid. Give us a look, see. Oh, nice one, too. Oh, oh yeah. here. Well, we're on the board. Nice little bar cod. Put the bar, and then bait it on the other ones. Not a bad little fish, is it? Lick it. You always want to do that, don't Lick you? Lick it. Lick <laughs> it. Oh, that's going to taste so good. That's probably about four or five kilos. Nice Cracker. Fish. Cracker. That's what we came here for. A couple of these fellas. Now they just need to start eating jigs. They need to play the game. But at least they're in the area. At least we're in the area. It's a good confidence builder. Well, guys, we've pushed out a bit deeper. Have a go at this. Some real good fish showing on the bottom here. Not sure what they are, we're just having a drop now. We're in a bit deeper, 260. With a bit of luck. Fish on. Bro, look at that, that's exciting me. Oh yeah, wow. 
that's like that's thick big life in the bottom going down you let me know I'm bottom too So. Oh, in there. Yeah, no, I've got something. Have we got that life off the bottom there? That's pretty cool. This thing hasn't done anything. Big green eye. Well, we've got a hookup, guys, in 260. But it is not doing anything. This feels very green eye ish. I'm not whelmed yet. Not over nor under. But. Oh, it's not a. Oh, it's a squid! Get out of here. Yep, it's a squid. Oh, it's a good one. Arrow. I don't know, grab it or something. Just lift it in. But I don't want to drop it. What if it inks? Oh. oh. Whoa. <laughs> How sick is that? That's pretty cool. Well, I was, oh. I was right. It wasn't. That is epic. It's all right. You could eat this one, couldn't you? <laughs> well, that is a squid from 265 meters. I was not expecting that, but I will take it. How cool. You never know what you're gonna pull up. This, uh, as Shauno said, I don't know if you heard or not, probably make terrible swordfish bait, this one. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> he, uh, he might be going on the plate or back out, back out hole. How good is that? Well, if the fishing go turns on, we're bloody chopping up for bait. Yeah. Yeah, well, I've upped my jig size to 280 grams because we are fishing that bit deeper. Although there's not much current today, I still want to drop down there nice and quick. A bit more of a uh, pencil style jig in shape, um, just drops faster. It's also my preferred jig to slow pitch for squid in 260 meters that style i find they like them a lot better yep oh yeah it's got weight but it's not not going hard I reckon I got it backwards. Maybe another squid. Big nan. Oh, yep. Nice one. Oh, I don't know. Just can't get away from these guys. They're everywhere today. More tasty fillets for the esky. Righto, guys. It's time for the tackle talk intermission break. I had a heap of good feedback when I did it last time, so I'm going to start trying to incorporate it a lot more into my videos so you guys can see exactly what I'm using. Now, I'm gonna start at the rod and reel setup. This is an Oshia Jigger 2000 NRHG. That's a pretty well specialized jigging reel. It retrieves a heap of line. Uh, I think it's 117 centimeters per crank, so perfect for the deep water. Plenty of drag on it as well. Really, really nice bit of kit. 
Uh, the rod is a Bone Ocean Jig. It's a slow jigging rod. Now this is the Power 3 model. Now I got this one because it's got a heap, a heap of balls. Uh, can get right stuck into any big fish that I hook. Yeah, I haven't been properly tested on it yet, but uh, I know when the time comes I'll be able to absolutely stick it to it with this. Um, the rod that Sean o was jigging with was the Power 2 model, so a bit lighter again. Um, probably perfectly suited to snap up pearlies and the smaller deep water stuff, but I'd say if he gets connected to a big rampaging barcode or something of that nature, he might be in a, in a spot of bother, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Now this uh, rod has a jig rating of 400 to 555 grams. So when I'm using the smaller jigs, probably a little bit overgunned, but then once you get out in the deeper stuff, you're using threes, fours, and even the 500 gram jigs, this is absolutely perfect. Um, I'd rather it be able to take the heavier jigs and um, just manage with the lighter stuff than not be able to take the heavier jigs, because once you get out there, usually you're gonna be using a heavy, heavy, heavy jig, and I do have a lighter setup if I need, which goes all the way up to 350 grams, so I'm pretty well covered for all bases. Um, but yeah, nice rod, really nice action, really comfortable to use in the hand. And one thing that I haven't seen too often on slow jigging rods is this thing here. So this is for when you put your rod in the rod holder. Now quite often, split butt rods, you put them in the rod holder, it'll actually point load the, the blank on the edge of the rod holder, and when a fish takes off, snap, gone. So this shares that load and makes it a lot safer to put your rod in the rod holder. The business end, We've got PE2 braid and a whole heap of it after my little respool job. I've got 40 pound main leader. Now that may say, sound light, but I've got a good reason for it. And then I've got about, I've double unit it to about a meter or a meter and a half of 80 pound leader. So this is my bite leader and then the 40 pound is my main leader. Now that's there to offer a bit of stretch, a bit of shock absorption if we come up really tight. But I also want that to be the weak part in the whole setup. So if I hook up the bottom, everything's rock solid, can't jiggle it off, I want that 40 pound to break at that double uni knot instead of at the reel like I had it last time. Um, the double uni knot should be the weakest part of that, that rig. Uh, I've got it FG'd onto my braid, so I wouldn't expect it to break there, but that double uni knot is usually gonna be the spot where it pops. Um, and then I've just got that uni onto the solid ring, and I've got that split ring, there, which I use connect to the jig. And while we're on the topics of jigs, the very first one I used was the Mustard Wingman. Actually the first time I've used this jig and it worked an absolute treat. I can see it being really good for pearly, snapper, that sort of thing. Uh, I chose this one first because we had no current. We're in about just over 200 meters. This is a 200 gram jig. And at the start of the day, I was pretty keen on catching anything. I didn't care what it was, whether it be nannies, cod, pretty well anything that was down there, I wanted to catch it. So I used the smaller profile with a lot more fluttery action. So this is a stereotypical slow jig. Um, this has got a heap of action. You can see the, the weight there up the top of the jig. So you flick it up and it's gonna sit down there and flutter all the way down. So really good for targeting just about anything that lives on the reef. Now, you can see I, I tarted up the assist hooks. So these come pre-rigged with assist hooks. And one thing I really like about them is these assist hooks are damn awesome. They're really sturdy and they've got a nice long assist cord on them. Um, and you can see I tarted them up with the little squid skirts there. And something like this is just a good little thing to have on your jig to just create a little bit more action, a little bit more excitement down there. Uh, it's waving around, it's small profile, so if those nannies are playing hard to get and, you, and we're struggling to scrape up a feed, that's gonna see that go, oh, I might not want that whole profile of the jig, but I'll, I'll take this little morsel hanging out the side and I'll eat that. Um, this jig also doesn't have any glow on it, this one. So I thought a couple of little glow elements there, these two glow. I just thought that'd be a good little thing to uh, attract a few fish in to see what the commotion is about. I ended up changing from this to the Mustard Ink Vader. Now I did that because, as you saw, it was just a nanny a drop. Couldn't get away from them, so I thought, bugger it, I'm gonna go something that nannies probably won't eat. This is a 280 gram Ink Vader. Uh, that's a pretty substantial size lure, so that's my hand. Uh, that's a fairly substantial size lure, so pretty well really targeting something big there, your cods, um, a kingfish will eat it, no worries. Uh, those sorts of things will we'll have a crack at that, where I'll, I wouldn't expect a nanny to come 
come sniff it around unless it's a really big one or a big pearly or snapper or something like that. Now this is the 280 gram ink vader and I use that in the 200 meters because I like to overweight lures like this uh, in the shallower water. And that's mainly because they don't sink as fast as your conventional uh, slow pitch or, or pencil style jig because they've got all this uh, fan dangled legs and stuff hanging off. There's a bit more drag so you want to go heavier just to get it down there nice and quick. Then once it's down there, those legs do their thing and that's pretty well the beauty of these lures there. They're just a, uh, essentially a live bait down there. Now I didn't have any luck on this guy. I didn't give it a massive run because um, we ended up going deeper pretty soon after because our, our second spot there, it was just as loaded with nannies. So didn't get any cod action. So we moved out deeper. 260, I went to this guy here. Now this is a bit more of a rear weighted pencil style jig. This is 280 grams. Um, the reason I went up to the bigger size jig, obviously a lot deeper, uh, in the deeper water, we had a, a slight trickle more current. And when you've got a deep drop, drop rig and someone jigging, you kind of want to go on the heavier side than lighter. Now, if I was to go something lighter, it'd have a different sink rate and a different drift rate to Shawno's deep drop rig. So he's got like a two kilo sinker. So that goes straight up and down and pretty well straight down and just stays there. Whereas this would be out the back a bit more. So I'd be trying to follow that and that'd put Shawno's rig uh, at an angle. So by going a bit heavier, I can keep vertical and Sean, I can keep vertical. It's a lot easier way to, to do it. Now this one here being rear weighted, sinks really quick. Um, doesn't have the same intense flat action as the wingman, but you're down there, it's got a bit of glow on it. You can still flick it up and it will kind of zigzag up. And these ones have all the weight on one side, so they should sit there and flutter down. It's just a quicker flutter. They don't have as much resistance in the water. So a good option. They're very similar to, whoa, almost dropped him, uh, the Rip Roller, which I, I caught my very first bar cut on. Uh, same sort of profile and concept, just a little bit heavier. So 280, these ones are 250, and they also come in a 500. Um, then once we moved into the shallower water again, so we fished the deep 260, we did that for a while. Uh, didn't do as awesome as we thought, so we moved back to 210, 200. I kept this jig on, hoping that the bigger profile uh, and the fast action would kind of eliminate some of the nannies. It uh, did not. The nannies were just as keen to have a whack at something like this as they were something like this. And that's a fair difference in profile. So they're the three jigs I used for the day and the outfit I used to fish them. Uh, we're about to get straight back into the fishing action. Now a little public service announcement. While we're repositioning the boat, I got one last splash of salt water on my microphone and it turned out to be the straw that broke the camel's back. Uh, you will hear it. Unfortunately, I couldn't get around it. There is some static through the microphone. Um, there's no way I could get rid of it without losing the audio altogether. And the fish that we're about to catch is definitely worth having audio for. So I apologize in advance, but I've since bought a new microphone and we shouldn't have any more dramas coming up until this one dies a salty, salty death. So guys, that's the gear I used. Let's get back into the fishing. Might drop this jig. Oh god! Oh. Was that a fish? I think that was a fish, eh? Holy dooly. Bit of weight here. Yeah. He hasn't done a great deal though. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a good fish. That was a solid hookup too. Dead set felt like a snag. We uh, just crossed some uh, life on the sounder. Sean, I got railed on the deep drop rod. Oh, yes. And um, and I dropped my jig back down. Second it hit the bottom, gave it a flick, got crunched. Gave it two more jigs. But these might be the target species.
taking mine nice and easy. How's yours going? Yeah, got him. Oh, look at those head, head nods. Plenty of weight here. I'm liking it. And it's still digging. Oh. Certainly mark those in the sand too. Like individual fish. Yeah. And they all had red in them. We'll um, go back and scroll back and show you that these fish look like once we get them up. I'm coming around. Oh. I'm fighting your deep drop sinker. Oh, yeah? no, I don't know. No. Probably. So. I hope not. <laughs> Just get ready to stop yours because I am around somewhere. There's my fish. Mine or yours while I'm, I'm here? You reckon that was the right way? Yep. Other way, yeah. Oh. Hey, is that yours? Oh, Benito. You're kidding. Oh. Nah, oh. Oh, oh, no. oh, I hope mine's not one of them. Oh, no. Hang on, here, here comes mine. Oh, yeah. Mine's got a... Yeah! yeah. <laughs> That's what you want. That's what you want. <laughs> Two prestigious fish, no doubt. Oh, all that? This guy's tiny. He's alright though. Oh, he's, he's the right, right species, but... That's my lighting too, the top one. Decent. Decently. You definitely would have missed one of these then. Yeah. Oh. oh! Get out of the way. Barcod. On a jig. Oh, look at the markings on him too. Absolutely exquisite. Well guys, it took me all day, all afternoon, but there is a Nice little bar cord. More importantly, on a jig. Slowly but surely. Now, we think we may have found a patch of them, so we're gonna go back up, see if we can't get a repeat. But uh, that is cool. Gave a good account of himself real early, and then um, bar of trauma got the best of him. The old Popeye cod. But that guy, perfect eating size. He is definitely coming home with us. You beauty. Alright guys, that's what we hooked up in. You can see the individual fish all stacked up there, the big patches of red. That was the bar cod, so that's pretty cool. We're back up on that drift now. We're going to see if we can't uh, have another crack at them. But you know. Yeah. Look at it. Oh. Having a little go? Yeah. This is a real fish. This might be a kingy or something. Really? Or a or a um, big bonito. <laughs> I missed him. I think I had one and then I dropped it back down. I might have lost it as another one bit and then I'll do the old. This legit might be a bonnie. <laughs> oh yeah. It's got to be a savvy dream about it, doesn't it? Deep drop baits. Big flame. Oh, it's not the deep. I 
feel like they're coming on a little bit now. Good. No! Oh, New South Wales record, Benito. <laughs> Not again. Oh. <laughs> they go so hard, do they? He's sizzling. That's underwhelming. I really thought that was a big cod because he hit it right on the bottom and then just went straight for the bottom. Nope. No, sir. something it sucks. No, no. Alfonso. No, nah, that thing went hard. Did it? Yeah. But they're a big profile too, those things. Oh, they're all wing. Yeah. <laughs> big mouth as well. Mouth's like fucking big on it. <laughs> We did need a few more of those. <laughs> we got them. <laughs> they're all right too, though. they're a tangle, all right. Oh, there goes one. Didn't need two anyway. Yeah. Many. Two is being greedy. I hope this is a green eye. I, um, green eye. I don't hope it's a green eye at all. I hope it's a bari just to, <coughs> just to really rub it in. <coughs> stick the wind up your butt. I, um, yeah, I'm not good. confident. Hey? Call it. Yeah, I reckon we just about could, eh? We've had a good day, haven't we? We, we have. We have. Could have been better, but... That's what happens when you let a fish stay down there forever. Does that look like a, um... It looks like a nanny to me. Red dog. It's, oh, it's a spiral nanny, that's the difference. It's not even a big one. Uh, well, look, I've always said the only thing better than 10 nannies is 12. <laughs> And um, slightly bigger than mine as well, mate. So, well, pretty well the story of the day, isn't it? Apart from the barcode. Well, guys, the last hour of power we've soldiered on all afternoon. The hour of power is coming up. Have a go at this for a show. There is some solid fish there. Sean's on. It's good angle, is it? Oh, oh. I do like green eyed sharks, actually. That's actually my target species. What this is, possibly foul hooked. Well, there's a little kick then. So it is something. Well, don't recommend that. Do not recommend that at all. That was a bit sucky. Yeah, well. Probably time to go. We've put the hours in. I think I've been rewarded with a sideways one after leaving it down there for too long. I don't know, but we're together. Thank you for the free ride up. Everyone's got a nanny. I might have your sinker. I don't know.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah. What happened? Oh, that. shit. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Thanks, man. Too much. Can you feel weight? Or? On yours? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I haven't lost this thing then. Just keep winding in for a bit. Or I can just unload when I know the drop. Well, Nanny, it's your lucky day, mate. Catch you later. <laughs> Can't just go one trip without losing some break, you know? <laughs> What is going on, Sammy? Just have a bit of respect for the rig, please. <laughs> That's good. not a knot. <laughs> it's like a chain knot, it's like precision. Right, I'm just going to start cutting. Yeah, good plan. Well, guys, after that bit of a cluster with the uh, jig rod and the deep drop rod, their little collaboration there that ended with a broken braid and, oh, who knows. Cut, cut our way out, but uh, yeah, we uh, we headed off shortly after that. Raced home. It was a solid day from lunchtime through to dark, and it's now well and truly dark. So much so that we're not going to yarn for too long because I've got to get home. Sean has got some work that he was meant to do this afternoon, which is now no longer this afternoon by any stretch. But uh, get it we'll get it done. But look, the boat's clean, and more importantly, mate, a big bag of fish. So. Plenty of fillets there. Some tasty little numbers. The, Plenty of nannies. You know, number one for me, mate, the pink fish. Well, that was pretty sick. Just I, because it was different, I mean. And I, I, I wasn't I expecting it. it. I've, I've tasted them before, they are insane. I've never got one that big, so I can't wait. I think I'm gonna bake it whole. I, I reckon, make sure you give it a measure and a weigh before you- um. Could be. Could because be it, right it's probably there. some sort of record. It's massive. I've, never, I've personally never seen a pig fish that big. I'm sure one of you guys out there has. If you have, let us know below. Um, plenty of nannies today, not as many cod as we would have liked. They didn't seem to be chewing as hard. We missed a couple of opportunities we think were cod, yeah. um, but that's deep dropping. Good times, eh? We explored some new ground, and um, yeah, we got plenty of spots to try next time. All right. All right, that's all we got time for. Um, I'm going to do a cook up later on, so stay tuned for that. Uh, this is where we say goodbye to Sean. Um, this is usually the the, <laughs> the exciting part of the video where I finally get rid of the bus. This gets a lot better after. You see the yeah. viewers just go... Everyone right tunes in around yeah. now and then just... <laughs> nah. Good day in the water. Right. Thanks, mate. See you later. Well, guys, I can give you the hot tip. By the time I got home from fishing, I was that tired. But the results were definitely worth it. Now, we harped on many, many times about how good barcode are to eat, so I'm very excited to chew down this guy. And I've eaten nannies before. They're also very, very good. I'm, gonna sh I'm not going to make you watch all the fish filleting. I've got a few to go, so we'll just do this one and we'll call it a day. Also, hot tip, Barcod have the sharpest set of gill rakers in the world. I don't know if you can see there, but my fingers have gone past the point of no return. Full on anti-reverse. You can go in, but once you're in, you can't get back out. Um, so <laughs> this is going to be like some serious removal here. I should have held it a different way. Oh, well. Oh well, weight wise I think this guy would be only maybe two and a half kilos, he's only a little fella. I really want to catch one around that 10 kilo size, that's the goal. 10 kilo on a jig, then I'll be happy. Then we can go ch start chasing some different fish, but for now I'm having fun chasing barcod, just need to get better at it. Let's do some filleting. Ow! Now before I show you the filleting, I might show you the, uh, the bait collection I did that day as well. As you can see, I've got a bag full of slimies and yakas. They'll be coming out my next deep drop mission, or maybe even a tailor or a Jew. Depends which come first. I've got big bonito. Thinking I might keep that guy whole. I've got the freezer room. Keep him whole, and I'll um I'll fill it him up next time I need him. And of course, this guy. Now I was going to eat him, but I think it's the species of. Well, Sean, I said it's an arrow squid. And I don't disagree with him, but you should see it's it's different to the arrow squid that we usually catch. This thing has got like claws on its suction caps. Have a look at this. I don't know if you can see that, but 
but there's like full on claws on each suction cap. And have a go at this thing. What? So I'm gonna keep him for bait. I'm gonna send him back down to the depths, but this time on a 90 circle. Obviously cut him up a bit, that's a pretty staunch bait if you were to use it whole. You could use it as a swordfish bait like we talked about, but um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this guy off a deep drop bait. Very cool caption nonetheless though. Me first deep sea squid. And I got it on jig, of all things. Very, very cool. Not a small one either. I reckon it's a baby giant squid. I'm sticking with that. You can't tell me otherwise. Ah. All right. I'm gonna keep the skin on. So, of course, scale them. Now, a lot of people don't like eating the fish skin. And I reckon you're missing out. Fish skin is really, really good for you. Heaps of goodies in there, heaps of good nutrients, and it tastes good. Obviously, there's some fish skins that you don't want to eat. The really chewy ones probably be a bit, how's it going? But these ones, whoa, that was close. These ones are really thin skinned. It's good chewing. Two beautiful white fillets. Delicious. Now I'm going to get stuck into the rest of them and uh, I'll see you in the kitchen. Well, guys, you know how I told you I was going to do a big cook up? Well, I'm sorry, but I flat out lied to you. I apologize. I will do a cook up in the near future, but I just ran out of time to do it this week. Uh, so, unfortunately, that is all we've got time for. Massive shout out to Shauno. Thanks for another awesome trip, mate. Uh, if you want to Follow Shauno on his adventures. Check out his Instagram, Shauno Four Wheel Drive, and his YouTube channel, Four Wheel Drive 24/7. They're doing heaps of cool four wheel driving stuff. Unfortunately, there's no Pajeros on there. They do have some other coolish cars, but no Pajeros. So I don't know if that's going to make or break your decision. Personally, you know, want to see more Pajeros, but hey, I'm just I'm just an expert in four wheel drive. So what would I know? Um, guys, if you did want to support the channel, make sure you check out my website www.sammyhitskyfishing.com we've got hats available and if you were thinking of grabbing yourself a big hookup these are the final three I've got three after these ones go I won't be getting any more for a little while it does take a while to get them made up and sent out so they will be out of stock for a while so if you did want one make sure you get in fast these are the last three Still have plenty of the Big Nobby and Sammy Hitsky OG hats, so there is other hats available if you do miss out. Guys, if you did like or learn something, make sure you hit the like button, leave us a comment below, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe because there is plenty more fishing action to come. There's even some cooking, more tackle tips, all that sort of stuff every single week. We haven't missed a Sunday in over two years, so make sure you subscribe. It would be great to have you as part of the family. Guys, hope you're getting a few fish yourselves. Hope you're getting out there. I know the weather's been sucky lately, but look for those little windows. Get out there and have a crack, and I will see you next week for another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. See you guys. Have a good one.